Hi there! Welcome to Daily Mana. Just as our body is in need of material food, so as our soul is in need of the Word of the Lord. When I was serving as a youth pastor many years ago, I came to know that there were three kinds of relationship or reaction as far as the young people are concerned in relation to their parents. When we were planning to go somewhere and some of them would say, I will ask permission first from my parents because I respect them so much and I'm scared of them. Well, others as well would say, let's go right away without even asking permission from their parents. And some are saying, okay, let's just go because I know my parents would not um, oppose if I'll do something. So with those three reactions, I found out that there were actually young people who were afraid of their parents. And there were young people who were feared by their parents. And there were young people who actually didn't care. Well, the kind of obedience that they show to their parents actually reflects so much the kind of relationship that they have with their parents. When the children obey their parents, it tells us a lot that they show respect. They are well disciplined by their parents. But those others who don't care and some are feared by their parents, somehow there is a huge question on that matter. And it really tells us that the kind of dealings of the parents that they have and the kind of obedience that the children would show in response to the authority of the parents would tell a lot about their relationship with them. Now, in our relationship as God's children, our relationship with the Lord is also becoming more and more evident or it is seen on the way we respond to the commands of God. It is showing a lot in the way we respond to the Word of God and its influence over our lives. This is actually what is displayed by the book of 1st John, the letter of 1st John chapter 2 verses 3 to 8, where it says, By this we know that we have come to know him, if we keep his commandments. The one who says, I have come to know the Lord or him, and does not keep his commandments, is a liar, and the truth is not in him. But whoever keeps his word, in him the love of God has truly been perfected. By this we know that we are in him. The one who says he abides in him ought himself to walk in the same manner as he walked. Bel beloved, I am not writing a new commandment to you, but an old commandment which you have had from the beginning. The old commandment is the word which you have heard. On the other hand, I am writing a new commandment to you, which is true in him and in you, because the darkness is passing away and the true light is already shining. May the good Lord bless the reading of his word. In the earlier chapter, the author mentioned several times about God as the light. And this is also reflected even in the succeeding passage that we will be having in the coming days uh, as part of our daily manna because we are having a series as far as my exhortations are concerned. They are all coming from the book of 1 John as for this moment. So I observe that the preceding and the succeeding part of this text, they actually um, are surrounded or they are mentioning about God as the light. And in this context or in this text, the, the characteristic of God as the light shall be displayed in the life of his children and that char character or characteristic of God's children as children of light shall be seen through their obedience to the word of the Lord. And um, the, the author mentioned here that knowing God can be warranted so much on the kind of obedience that we show to him through his word. How does this happen? When we know fully, even if it's not on a perfect sense, um, when we know who God is, the grace that God has given us, when we know the sacrifice of Jesus, when we know the love of the Lord for us, 
when we know His mercy and grace that He's been displaying to us, we will be able, when we are able to perceive all those matters, even if not in a full sense, but the depth of our understanding would somehow be seen on the way we respond to Him, especially to His Word. Because if there are disobedience that are seen in our lives, then somehow one may ask, does he really know the God that he worships? Does he really know the grace that this God has given him? Does he really know the kind of love that God displayed upon him that despite he was or he was or she was unlovable, God displayed this kind of love to him or to her? So if you think about this matter, when a person is disobedient to the word of God, there is a possibility that this person actually did not understand the love of God, the grace of God, the mercy of God, and the goodness of God that he's been showing upon his life. That is why, I, I mean, added to that is the authority of God as well. Maybe this person is thinking that God is just small or God is somebody who is not caring or God won't, won't care if we do something wrong or not. But God really cares so much for us that he wants us to live uprightly and to respond to his word in obedience that is why if i may capsulize the lesson for this very day i shall say our obedience to god's commandments warrants our true knowledge of him our obedience to god's commandments warrants our true knowledge of him because the kind of knowledge that we have about god will dictate how we behave in relation to him and in response to his word. So it's my prayer that every one of us, the more we know God, the more obedience also will be displayed in our day-to-day -day life to his word. And I believe that as we mature closer and closer into the image of Christ, obedience will become a part of our day-to-day -day existence as well. Let me pray for you. Lord, obeying your word it's sometimes hard for us to go through or to experience or sometimes hard for us to do because we are living in this world that has a fallen nature and we are living with this body that has been marred by sin and we are now trying our best and we have to be actively and intentionally um, embracing the new nature that you have given to us because this life we had it was influenced so much by the sins that we had in the past. But right now, since we, you have declared us as your people, as your children, I pray that we will also live our lives according to the light. And that life that is lived in the light follows the word of God, follows the scriptures, follows the commandments of God. Well, thank you for this reminder for us. And I pray that as we live day after day, our lives would continue to exemplify more and more obedience to your word. Because our obedience to your word would warrant our knowledge of you, the true knowledge of a believer about you. And because we know you and we are still in the process of knowing you more, I pray that you will help us to become more and more obedient individuals or children of God as well, day after day. And so we entrust to you all that we are in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. God bless you all.